I spent last night up in a campground a few miles outside of town cooked my coffee and oatmeal this morning for breakfast and then rolled into Atlantic City. We're gonna drive around through town, check it out a little bit. There are places that you can stay here. There's cabins for rent. They've got a little mercantile store and a restaurant and there's a saloon here. So if you're into these kind of off the beaten track places and cool little old historic mining towns, Atlantic City is one of those kind of places. And from here, we're gonna head south into some really remote backcountry riding. We might see some cool rock formations and some sand dunes, so stick around for that. concern is obviously having enough water with me and my tires getting a little bit worn down. It's pretty remote so it would be a long hot hard sandy ride through I don't know 80 100 miles of pretty remote barren country. I haven't looked at the news or social media for over three weeks now. I know there's something going on, there always is. There was a lot going on when I left and there's a lot going on right now and it'll be there when I get back. But it's good to have this pause and set the reset button. Have a chance to like chill out, reflect, let things settle down, come to terms with myself and the world without all that background noise, all that chatter. Every time I think I'm out here doing something badass, I run across somebody like that. This guy's out here hiking the Continental Divide Trail hundreds of miles all by himself while I'm riding my motorcycle. This is such an awesome road. It feels so good to be out here on this dirt road instead of the pavement in the backcountry of Wyoming. Out here, it feels like the problems of the rest of the world are just so far away and I'm just out riding my motorcycle in paradise with wildlife and hikers and this awesome dirt road that's up ahead. So I want to show you guys this little stream down here. But this is why I came on this trip is just to get out here in these kind of places and see this kind of natural beauty around here. So much going on in the world right now. So much friction and instability and change. And it's real and it's important and it means something, but it's also real and important and it means something for me to be out here living like this and experiencing this kind of solitude. Let all that stuff just kind of dissolve into the background and forget about it for a while. There's a lot of little crisscrossing intersections and I'm trying to follow the track and so I'm having to stop every few minutes, make sure I'm on the right track and then I get off and have to backtrack or cut cross country on a lesser trail, but I'm making my way through it. Riding one month solo in the American West, camping every night, cooking my own food, sleeping in my tent or my hammock, waking up in the morning with the sun and the nature around me. It's absolutely beautiful and it puts things into such a clear, good perspective. And I'm not saying that those problems with what's going on in the world around me don't exist because they absolutely do. But I just feel like I can meet them from a much more centered place when I'm coming from a centered place, which is where I'm coming from on a trip like this.
So I'm up here basically on the Continental Divide right now. Down here below me, there's an area of rock formations and it's called the Honeycomb Buttes. It's worth pointing out that if you do come to these kind of areas, stay on the roads. There's no need to go off making new tracks and trails. There's plenty of roads out here to ride on. That's it, I just wanted to show you this area. This is the Continental Divide. Over here is the Great Basin. And what that is, is where the Continental Divide is like the high point of the Rocky Mountains and the water either flows off the east side or off the west side. But in the Great Basin, the Continental Divide splits and then rejoins in the water that does fall in this area, it's pretty dry, would collect in the middle of the Great Basin. So it's one of those unique features on the Continental Divide and worth pointing out. So I made it down here to the Honeycomb Buttes and I'm going to take a walk around and show you what there is to see out here. I just love getting out into these wild and remote places like this place here in Wyoming. This is so remote. I passed one vehicle on a little section of sort of the main road over here and that's it all morning long. There's all kinds of subterranean passageways that were formed by water like this one here steep gullies that you can walk up to get to the top. These are some pretty amazing rock formations. You could go hiking out here all day long, but I don't have that much time. So before I leave, I'm going to send the drone up. We'll have a look from the sky. been parked here for about an hour. Nobody's gone by. Nobody's come through the intersection. There is just nothing going on out here. So I do believe henceforth this will be known as, at least to me, the loneliest intersection in America.
there was just nothing out there. There was no traffic the whole time that I was there relaxing and filming some stuff. Not a single vehicle came by. And it was about 40 some miles back to the interstate from that intersection. 